you can go when you're ready. Okay. So personally, I think that everyone is born a good person. So my friend always has a really um, optimistic and positive um, demeanor. And uh, like this one time we were in the dining hall and she really likes cupcakes and she'll always try the new ones that they have that day. And they're always, they're usually bad. You know how dining food goes. So, but um, I asked her, I was like, you know, they're bad. So like, why do you keep trying them? And she told me, you know, I, I never want to lose hope. You know, I never want to lose faith in these cupcakes. And I know that that's something so simple. You know, it's literally just dining food cupcakes. But I think that's something that I want to emulate. You know, I think the world is very unforgiving as is. And I think we should give ourselves and everyone around us some slack. So one thing I feel like I can't fix about myself is that I'm just a chronic procrastinator. Oh, is that the noise? I'm going to start over. I'm going to start over. I'm going to start over. I'm going to start. That extends a little bit beyond just like, oh, I forgot this deadline. Because it's not always so much that I don't get things in on time. Like I finish things, things get done, but internally i'm not able to organize myself and feel like i'm getting things done and i'm kind of just screaming all the time so i feel like that's been my state and it feels like it's kind of going to be my state forever so an object of significance that I lost was a necklace that I got for my 17th birthday, and it had the horoscope zodiac sign of a Libra on it. And I was in Greenwich Village when I got it at a crafts fair, which is my favorite part of New York. And I was also with my best friend who lives in Singapore. I never get to see her, so just like the day was perfect because says, 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 says. favorite location, favorite person, and then when we saw the astrology necklaces we both freaked out because that's something that we both really care about and like always talk about and take quizzes on and so I got the necklace and I'd always wear it but then I lost it and it was really hard because even though like I can replace the necklace and I'm sure there's like a thousand like it I can't like replace the day and the memories that came with it. So two years ago, I was on a hiking trip through New Mexico and there was one day where we were on this mountain and it was really steep and my legs were hurting. It was just really difficult. And I, 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 right, right as when I was like about to give up, um, the song Heroes by David Bowie just started blaring in my head. And it's a song I never really heard. Or I, I heard it, but I never really thought about it before. But I just heard David Bowie telling me that I could be hero, hero, and it just sort of pushed me to the end of that hill. I looked it up later when I got home, what the lyrics of that song actually mean, and it's about um, <laughs> the Berlin Wall, which was kind of disappointing, because when I was in New Mexico, it was about me and overcoming things. But still, when I listen to it, I just feel this overwhelming sense that I can, I can take on things, I can overcome things, even if it's just for one day. So something that I want to change about myself, but or fix about myself that I can't, I get a plus up, is not like a physical thing, but kind of almost like a mental block. It's that like almost like a mental block, not in relationships, but in friendships especially. I push people away when they get too close, and I don't really know why. And I tried fixing that over the years because I don't want to do it. And like in therapy, like I talk about it a lot. It's just something that like no matter what. I try, it just keeps happening. So that's something that I would fix about myself if I could, if I could. A childhood memory that still keeps me up at night is in the fourth grade, I, it was school picture day, day, day. I had really long hair and- So I got to get the school picture guy, line us all up and said, could the girl in the brown shirt please take two steps to her left? And I was the girl in the brown shirt and I wasn't a girl. Uh, 
So I screamed back, I'm not a girl. And he told me I should get a haircut. So then I went and cried in the bathroom. And, and then got a haircut that weekend because I was so embarrassed. Ever since I had cancer as a kid, I've thought that when you die, people remember you for how you affected others. They don't remember what you did for yourself or how you treated yourself. Ever since building that into my life for the past 10 years, I have never been able to love myself because I'm fully invested in other people. I care about how they're doing and how their lives are going. How they're doing and how their lives are going. And how they're like, 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 like. And I just can't love myself because what's the point? If you're not going to be on your feet, if, if in the grand scheme of things that doesn't matter, what's the point? And I don't, I don't think, think I'm going to ever be able to change that about myself. It's who I am.